This is non-calculator question number 15 from the May 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a graph of a function and asks which could be the equation. If you look at the answer choices, they look like translations of y equals 1 over x. And since this is translated to the left by 1, we replace x by x minus negative 1, which is x plus 1. This graph is also translated up by 1 from y equals 1 over x. So we then add 1 to the function. So we're going from y equals 1 over x, left 1, and then up 1, and left 1, replace x with x minus h, where h is negative 1, and then up one, you add one to your final answer. This is choice D. Alternatively, if you put a large positive x value in, you should get something very close to one, and one over something very large is very close to zero, so that plus one would be close to one, and that reasoning eliminates choices A and C. Also, we have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1. So if you substitute in x equals negative 1, the, the correct answer should be undefined. Choice b at negative 1 is 1 over negative 1 minus 1 is 1 over negative 2, negative 1 half. That is defined, but this has a vertical asymptote at negative 1, so the correct answer would be undefined. Choice d is undefined at x equals negative 1, so that is our correct answer. College Board often asks you to determine the equation for a graph Frequently, they're graphs you know that have been translated, but even if they're not, you can substitute in values and check for which answer choice comes close to the answer that's displayed. Come back soon for my next video with math, there's always more.